this motorcycle was in a storage container that floated out to sea and it drifted 4,000 miles and landed on the shore of an island. The storage container had completely ripped apart from the tide. When we retrieved it, we recognized that there was a license plate on the back from Japan and they were able to contact the owner of the bike. He was quite emotional because this gentleman had just lost everything, including three family members. And so he didn't have a thing. And to get this phone call that said, hey, we, we found your night train, he was blown away. We offered to replace the bike. And he said, you know, I can't really accept that because so many of my friends went through the same thing. And what he said, though, was really amazing. He said, I'd like for that motorcycle to be put on display at the Harley-Davidson Museum in Milwaukee as a tribute to all the victims of the tsunami. And so we got the bike and we, we built a beautiful display area. And it is truly a tribute to, to that tragedy. And the bike is amazing because it, it's continually changing. The sea salt has actually penetrated the molecular structure of the materials. And so it's gonna continue to deteriorate and go back with this time-lapse photography. And the bike is actually changing shape and there's things crystallizing on it. It's just amazing, just amazing.